What are you doing? Don't come in here. Whoa, bro. Please leave. Oh no, reloaded, reloaded. Bad idea. <laughs> Chat, I don't know how I'm surviving. <laughs> I don't know what's going on right now. Nobody's invited to the pickles hut. Uh oh. Uh, that's gonna be it. That's the fucking jungle. No, 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 no. Not like these. <laughs> oh, quiet. No, no reloading. No, no, no. Bro, 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 you cheating, you cheating, you cheating. Target's not dead. No, 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 no. Bad chunky. I can't see nothing. What's up agents and welcome back to another division build video. Today we are going to talk solo legendary and on stream today I attempted district union solo with this build and it worked out really really well if only I was a little bit better at the game. But before we get started be sure to hit that subscribe button give this video a thumbs up and hit the bell so you are notified when I upload more division videos. Even better come on over to twitch and say hi. I could be streaming live right now and if you need a community discord there has never been a better time to join you'll find the link down below in the description and with all that said let's get started so i don't know what it was today we jumped onto stream we started talking about legendaries and we just ended up hitting one up solo uh, and we kind of put together this build we did make a few refinements to make it better after a couple of runs uh, but it just turned out really really well and really it was all about just getting some life back, getting some armor back, and uh, all that stuff like that. So, uh, assault rifle and LMG and the mag are what you're going to need here. Uh, it's pretty obvious to go for gunner because killing enemies grants you 10% uh, armor back. It's also really good because every third reload is 50% faster. If you're using an LMG as well, it's really, really good. Armor repair kit is the best armor repair kit in the game as well. Uh, we generate 10% of total ammo capacity every 60 seconds, which is nice, which really helps with running out of ammo, because in Legendary everything's really, really tanky. And rate of fire is increased by 5% on kill. So it just makes Gunner a solid choice. 10% uh, weapon handling uh, while not moving, uh, which as well works out really, really well. So Gunner is just an absolute solid choice. And it gives you options as well, because you could use the pulse from Gunner if you really wanted to. With this build, uh, I use the Defender Drone and the Revive Hive. I feel like I do need the extra life. Uh, but that's uh, totally up to you. So here we are in the range. We'll make sure we are on heroic range. Before people start shouting at me. But I'm not really going in here to show numbers or, or anything like that. just really want to show you the build action. So, uh, we'll get up close. so as you can tell already you can see I am using strikers uh, this is some headshot damage and this is some body shot damage now, as you can see uh, we are using the chest piece that's why it's taking a little bit longer to go up but uh, more often than not with the dog the mini tanks the uh, chungas I often felt that I was actually able to breach the 50% with the GR9 if I needed health back or a faster gun, I switched to my FAMAS. It just helped out a little bit more as well. I did have the busy little bee on me and I found myself not switching to it to get the bonus damage. 
maybe I'll swap to the Scorpio as my secondary. Uh, that is for me to think about a little bit more. Uh, there is the build. It's really, really nice. I don't think I'm the first person to put this together. Chat seems to already have this kind of build together. Usually I'm an all red uh, kind of person. Uh, some people run it with three uh, reds and three blues, and some people run it with four um, blues as well. Uh, so you've got that, that option as, as well. Uh, but the guns were what really made the important choices here. The GR9 worked out really, really well. 250 in the mag. You could even drop the uh, the extended mag if you really wanted to uh, and go with either rate of fire or a 20% reload bonus. Uh, it doesn't really take that. You know, it puts the mag to 200. Still a lot of bullets and you still won't have any problems. One change I did make here, I went with the health damage in the bottom slot. It just made dogs, chungas, everything just a little bit easier I tend to have an easier time uh, with using the health. You'll see down here I've got another one uh, here with damaged armor, exactly the same. Uh, but the, the talent made a lot of difference as well. I kept running out of ammo. Uh, it was a problem having to switch guns, but then we swapped to steady handed. Uh, and hits granted a stack of 1% accuracy and stability. At 100 stacks, it consumed them to refill the magazine. And that's a free refill as well, which is... It's really, really good. I totally forgot about this talent. Not one I've used in a long, long time. And it is still as OP as ever. The secondary gun, I use the FAMAS with damage to target, out of cover and health damage. Uh, which is really, really nice. But I use preservation because if I got in a sticky spot, my plan was to switch to this gun to get some armor back a little bit quicker. And then the busy little B just for 10% extra damage when I remembered to do it. And then most of the time, I absolutely forgot to do it. Then we use the bellstone gloves. Now you could use the bellstone on the mask slot. You could use it in the holster slot and you could use it in the knee slot. And then just put four strikers in the other place. I just had a blue one uh, with crit chance and crit damage and armor regen for the brand set. That's why I wanted the 1%. 1% 1 doesn't sound like a lot, but it really does make a difference uh, when you're just kind of sat chilling and you're getting your armor back and, not, and you're out of med kits. Uh, very important to have. Uh, I definitely want 1% in there somewhere. Then the Memento at the start of District Union, this is absolutely useless apart from the, the three core attributes that it's going to give you uh, because you can't really run around and collect the tokens that it drops. But after that, it's all, all good. Uh, it comes with crit chance, obviously, as an attribute. And then we get the weapon damage and the bonus armor from the kill confirmed from collecting the tokens that drop on the floor. I'm not going to read through it all. You've seen it all a million times before. Uh, then we're going to go with the strikers. We'll check out the chest piece first of all. Uh, two piece gives us weapon handling, uh, 15%. Three piece gives us 15% rate of fire. And then we get the strikers gamble. Uh, we are only on 0.65% because we are not running the backpack, but we can stack all the way up to 200 uh, with the chest talent, uh, giving us uh, three stacks lost between 100 and 200. And it's just absolutely amazing. It's just really, really, really good. Uh, in legendary it's too hard in heroic things are dead way too quickly but you can often stack up and make use of the chest in legendary stats wise crit hit damage crit hit chance in the mod slot looking at the mask weapon damage crit chance crit damage holster weapon damage crit chance and knees armor crit chance to go with the armor on the bellstone and to go with the armor that i got from the memento then, like I said before, I'm using the Defender Drone and the Revive Hive. And if you wanted to take a look at the stats, you can see I'm at 56% crit chance with the LMG and 86% critical hit damage and 85% headshot damage with 10% health damage. If I switch to my Assault Rifle, you can see here 56 crit chance, 86 crit damage, 75% headshot, but we get a buff 21% health damage with that extra rate of fire as well and preservation for uh, survivability. And that's going to be it for the build. I ran in uh, District Union solo live on stream. I mucked up in the very the room before the checkpoint. I went to the wrong corner, got overwhelmed. My revive hive didn't go off and I got absolutely ripped. Uh, but the build stood up really, really well. And if someone's just a little bit better at the game, uh, they, they will no doubt be able to I have no problems with this whatsoever. Uh, I did a, a multiplayer one afterwards and it absolutely ripped through things. I never thought I was in any danger. Survivability is really, really good. Everything's just really, really good. So let me know what you think in the chat. What have you been running in the chat? In the comments down below. I've been on Twitch. 
um, in the comments down below. What do you guys run? Soul Legendary, what are you guys doing? Uh, I know skill builds are perfectly capable of doing it, but if you're running damage builds, are you going Negotiator's Dilemma still? Uh, how, how are you guys doing it? Let me know in the comments down below. Don't forget to subscribe here and come over to Twitch and hit follow. I would really, really appreciate it. Thank you for watching, Agents, and I'll see you all in the next video. Goodbye.